Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k in this given quadratic equation and the condition is one root is half of the other one. So here's the very first step. If I call the first root as alpha, the second root is going to be the half of that one. That is going to be alpha divided by 2. Now, the issue with this one is right now is perfectly all right, these two roots right now. But the problem is we are dealing with the fraction. And most of my students, they don't like fraction. Let me show you a little bit easy way. What if I call the first root as 2 alpha? Then the second root is going to be half of that. That means 2 alpha divided by 2. So 2 and 2 cancels out, isn't it? So we got second root is going to become alpha and the first root is 2 alpha. This way we don't have to deal with any kind of fractions. And we also know that the factored form of any quadratic equation could be written as x minus the first root times x minus the second root equal to 0. So I can write this one as x minus and in the second parenthesis, x minus equal to 0. That means the first root is 2 alpha. I'm going to write 2 alpha right up here. And the second root is alpha. I can write it over here. So this simply become x minus 2 alpha times x minus alpha. So the next thing is we're going to use the FOIL method. We're going to multiply x times x is going to be x squared. When you multiply this time, this is going to give you minus alpha x. And over here, it's going to give you minus 2 alpha x. And then this time, this is going to become positive 2 alpha square equal to 0. And now you can see over here, these are like terms. We can combine them. I can write as x square minus 3 alpha x plus 2 alpha square equal to 0. Now, our next step is this one over here. I want you to look at this very first equation over here. The given one is I'm going to call equation number 1. And here I'm going to call this equation number 2. We're going to compare these two equations and this is going to be our result. So I'm going to say from equations 1 and 2, this is what we are going to get. So I can write down x squared minus kx plus 50 equals to... The, the second equation is x squared minus 3 alpha x plus 2 alpha square. So far so good. Let's move on our next step. And now we are going to compare the coefficient of these x. Over here, uh, let me look at this thing. Let's look at the left hand side the coefficient of x is negative k and on the right hand side the coefficient of x is negative 3 alpha let's go ahead and equate them i can write negative k equals to i can write negative 3 alpha how about look at the constant on the left hand side is 50 and on the right hand side is 2 alpha square I can equate them as well. I can say 50 equal to 2 alpha square. On the first equation, this one, if you remove their negative signs, k turns out to be 3 alpha. And over here, if you divide both sides by 2, so this gives us alpha square equals to 25. And here I can take the square root on both sides. If you take square root on both sides, so alpha turns out to be a positive or negative 
5. So that means alpha has two values, positive 5 and alpha has negative 5, these two values. So let's go ahead and I'm going to say what happens at alpha equals to positive 5. Let's pick that value. If I pick 5 and we know that k equals to 3 alpha, I can write k equals to 3 times alpha and 3 times alpha is 5. So that means k equals to 15. That is our one of the values. Let's move on to our next one over here. Okay, now I'm going to say at alpha equals to negative 5, what is going to happen? So we know that k equals to 3 alpha. Let's uh, fill in the blanks now. 3 times alpha is negative 5. So that means k turns out to be negative 15. That is another value. So we got two k values. First one is 15, positive 15 rather, and the other one is negative 15. Thus our answer turns out to be k equals to 15 or k equal to negative 15 as our k values. And here is your assignment. Can you find the value of k in this given quadratic equation and the condition is also given? Can you do exactly the same way I model it for you guys? Take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.